the ways. This is the bit I was saying is actually quite fiddly to get in. The you array. have to undo that and that's where the laser's red. Okay. Um, and when was the last time it was operating on this one? We ran it about a month ago, maybe okay. three weeks ago, and got beautiful data from it. But yeah. the problem is if you don't use it, you see it's encrusting a buffer here. Yeah. So this is a consumable whistle only, so this okay. will come out every few hundred runs. Okay. So I think we'll just empty all those okay. buffers and waters and things. Yeah. But I may as well, I don't know whether it's best move it with that in place or not, but I think I may as well just leave it in place. Yeah, leave it in place. Um, yeah. Just scan round here. So that's the database collection software, genetic analyzer. It's got the gene mapper software. So, what date is it today? Uh, the fourth, fourth, of of, fourth of November, day before Bonfire Night, yes. 2016. Okay. Zebedee. Huh. Yeah. Got a good name for these things. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Just to show you the link works. Um, mm -hmm. Manual control. So if I say so get it to move, um, it's a sampler. Initialize. I should send that command. Oh, you can hear it, can't you? Yeah, we used it about a month ago, really nice, but it's for genotyping or sequencing. Okay. So these are loads of manuals for various things. Mm -hmm. um, what would you need to do if you wanted to do sequencing on it? Well, there is software, but that didn't, I couldn't seem to open that. They probably need to talk to ABI about, mm -hmm. I mean, it's set up, you can do you can, the sequence run, there's no mm -hmm. problem, mm -hmm. but that's all within here. Mm -hmm. um, the analysis of it then may need to talk to this API yeah. about. Um, so I've got that in a moment.